from Time Out New York, during the photo shoot for our June digital cover, we grabbed our stars and asked them about community and pride. And look, I truly cannot understand how any of these weirdo publications are still in business. I can't imagine they're profitable in the least bit, but that's a completely different story. However, my name's Eric. This channel is called Report and Opine. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm absolutely begging you. I'm begging you, please. Come on, please. <laughs> It would help me a lot and it would cost you nothing. But if you wanted to help me even more and spend some money, you would buy my book, New York City 2020, Gotham Unglued on Amazon.com. That link will be in the description. But here they talk to these perfectly sane, rational, carbon-based life forms about pride. And it gets really dark at the end. I'm Bessie, the cow. And I'm Bertha the milkmaid. <laughs> Who's the cow the milkmaid? Because why not? Because why not? Because I'm so proud of you, bitch. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, bitch. I'm proud of you. No. <laughs> Bro, who, I mean, who is this for? Right? Are you targeting children with this? Bickering and gibberish? Are you just preaching to the choir and saying these things to people who are already on your team? Because I, I don't think this is going to win anybody over, but I guess that's not the point. <laughs> Pride is so important every year but in particular this year we made so much progress well it's, it's just not pride is so important every year but in particular this year i mean that's just completely made up it is not important ever and even if it were you guys have plenty of months you have pride month you have history month you have all these days scattered throughout the entire year and none of it is important over time and now we're seeing that progress rolled back with 600 pieces of anti-lgbtqia plus legislation that again just another completely made up thing 600 pieces of anti-lgbtq legislation so you can't tell that you are in the minority to put it nicely and that most people do not want this but you're going to force it anyways have been introduced black trans women being murdered pride is Ugh. another completely made up stuff oh, black trans women are being murdered that's just not true and even if it were you'd have to imagine that they were doing something completely despicable to meet that demise it's a riot and it is a protest and i encourage you to get on those streets and riot and don't be scared to do it so there you go it's all absolute nonsense by these two weirdos playing dress up but most importantly they them z zim zer or whatever is literally calling for people to riot in the streets. And here from USA Today, I can only assume this is sort of what they're going off of to spew these weirdo talking points about anti-LGBTQ legislation or whatever. The rights decreased last year. Here's how they vary state by state. The out leadership's 2024 average score for all 50 states dropped for the first time. The index maps out where the LGBTQ plus population or the LGBTQ community faces the most discrimination where they live and work. Now, obviously, when they talk about discrimination, they are just referring to somebody or something or someone, some entity that's not fully on board with their completely weirdo agenda. And everybody loves an infographic. And this is how super scary it is. So with these decreased rights, apparently, that's enough reason for you to riot. And while they're quite literally calling for violence on the other end of that spectrum, it will be a crime. It has been deemed a crime to ride a scooter on a pride mural, which, of course, is on the ground. And this was a hugely viral story, right? These are teenagers, 18, 19 year old kids who are facing consequences for creating skid marks on a pride mural. And, and that that should be they should be thrown under the jail. Meanwhile, you should riot in the streets to push back on the perceived anti-LGBTQ legislation. Just hours after workers repainted the downtown Pride mural, police say it was defaced again. Spokane police arrested three teenagers for purposefully creating skid marks on the brand new mural last night. Crime News' Nicole Hernandez spoke with one woman who... Three teenagers throw the book at them. And once again, it has become clear that even in Spokane, Washington, people don't want it. Saw it happen and brings us more tonight. So I talked to Kaylee Gaines Mickey earlier today. She says yesterday evening she was sitting on the patio of O'Doherty's when she noticed a few teenagers on Lime scooters purposely creating skid marks on the mural here. Now, the city just repainted the mural hours before that happened, and the Pride Parade is in just a couple of days. We see that you have done this thing, and we know your intentions, 
because people just don't go and do that without intention. <laughs> you know, you don't destroy symbols without intention behind it. Yeah, so you can destroy statues, you can spray paint everything, and make sure that these these young men, teenagers, are deemed criminals, while you also are claiming that people should get out in the streets and riot, as if that hasn't already been happening. After talking to witnesses and looking at surveillance video, Spokane police arrested three people. Two are minors and one is 19-year-old Ruslan Turco. Court docs say the teens also yelled slurs and curse words at several of the witnesses at authorities. Okay, is that illegal? Turco had his first appearance in court this afternoon. Prosecutors had asked the judge to set a $15,000 bond since that's how much it costs to repaint the mural. But the judge released him under the condition he doesn't go... How much did it cost to clean up the statues that you desecrated? How much did it cost to rebuild the things that you pulled down? Near the crosswalk or the other teenagers. Beyond the fact that the city had just repainted the mural, the teenagers also were just hours away from potentially facing a felony. Washington state law changed today to include defacing public property, not just private property, in hate crime charges. Another interesting point here, the group used Lime scooters to do this, and Lime just put their scooters back onto the streets this week. And if you remember, the reason the city just repainted the crosswalk is because someone set fire to it last month. Spokane police have still not arrested anyone for that. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News. They don't want it. They're going to... People, the general population does not want it. We know by now that it is a tiny... Uh, a tiny minority of folks who are on board with this because they've been so brainwashed, but nobody wants it. And kids are now responsible for defacing it. And if there is, I, I don't believe there is any more clear cut example of the two tier justice system that we are living through. So you could have these weirdo carbon based life form drag queens, quite literally calling for violence and riots, then that's okay. But a 19-year-old and his buddies, who were probably 17 or 18, are made felons for creating tiny little marks on a mural that you put on the ground. And today, it is now a felony crime to deface a public symbol of pride in Washington. The state's law redefined what is considered a hate crime to include the defacement of public property. It comes as the barriers surrounding the pride crosswalk in downtown came down. That rainbow has become a target for vandals who have thrown paint, left black skid marks, and recently, as Nicole mentioned, set fire to the mural. So now any defacement of the mural could result in a harsher penalty under the new law. The crime is punishable by up to five years in jail and up to a $10,000 fine. Okay, so yeah, those are, those are going to be really harsh crimes. Meanwhile, and I get it, this is in Washington, not in California, not, you know, San Francisco or New York even, where thieves are running rampant and forcing stores clo to close down, but they're not really getting the book thrown at them. 